I was asked to graph the linear equation x plus 2y equals 4. And there are a few ways we could do this. We could take and we could get this into slope intercept formula like this here. And then we can graph it that way. And there's a link at the end of this video on how to do that. We could also just use a table of values. And that's what I'm going to do here. So we'll put a value in for x and then we'll figure out the value for y. And then we can graph the equation x plus 2y equals 4. So let's start out with 0. That's always good. If x is 0, we have 2y equals 4. Divide both sides by 2. We have y equals 4 over 2, and that's just 2. We can put any values we want in for x, but we want to find something that fits on our graph, and it's kind of easy to work with. And I think 2 is going to be a good number to try, because if we have 2 for x, 2 plus 2y equals 4, we need to subtract 2 from both sides to get y by itself. So those are gone. 2y equals... 4 minus 2 is 2. Divide both sides by 2. We end up with y equals 2 over 2. So that's just 1. And we could graph with just two points. I like to do 3 in case I've made an error here. So I'm going to say negative 2 for x. So negative 2 plus 2y equals 4. Let's add 2 to both sides. Those are gone. So 2y equals 6. We divide both sides by 2 and we have y equals 6 over 2, that's 3. So these are the points we'll graph for x plus 2y equals 4. So we've got 0, 2, 0, and then 2. We've got 2, 1, so x is 2, we go up 1, and then we have negative 2 for x and 3, 1, 2, 3 for y. So you can see our line here. Let's put a line through that. Then we put arrows to show it goes to infinity, and we've graphed the equation x plus 2y equals 4. And again, you could put any values in for x, and you'll get a value for y that ends up on this line. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.